Okay, today I'm going to go over some NS date basic functions. I'm um, going to kind of show you how to display um, NS dates as strings, basically convert them to a string and also converting them back, um, and then how to compare a couple dates. So let's just look at um, some of the code on, on how this uh, gets off formatted. Um, and Speaking of formatting, uh, typically when you're creating uh, a date, the first thing you're going to do is create an NS date formatter type. Um, so you'll have a line like this. And I'll provide all this code. Uh, I will zip up this project and include it in the description. Um, so I have this variable called date format, which is of type NS date formatter. Um, and then we go ahead and use that here to specify the style that we want, the, the format we want the date um, to appear in. Okay, uh, And I'm using these, the, the first example here, I'm going to show you a couple different, is I'm using these uh, NS date formatter um, styles. There's medium style, there's long style, and actually if you go on Apple's um, developer site, You'll see here's all the different styles, and then it explains to you what they look like as you use them. You know, the short style looks like this. The medium style, which I have in here, looks something like that. And you can specify it for the date and time or, or just the time. You can do no style. Okay. Um, so that's what that looks like. I'll run this in a second and show you what that looks like. Um, then I, I use the same date formatter and I reformat this again. Um, oh, I should say this line right here is where I actually convert the NS date to a string. I have this uh, class variable called date string and date string two. Um, and so date string here becomes uh, the current time. That's what this is, choosing the current time and date and then putting it in this format. And that's date format right here. So that's what that line does. That's an important line. And then I'm going to just uh, print to the screen using NSLog. Um, and then I, I choose to do a, a different date format here. Um, and this is your kind of your traditional month, month, day, day, year, year, year. Um, and again, I'm going to copy it to that date string string and um, then display it to the screen. And so this is going to put the um, date uh, format into the current date. And then uh, the last example I show you is, and this is an important one if you do any um, SQL uh, Lite 3 work or stuff like that, because this is your traditional date time format for storing in a SQL database. Um, and again, so we, we choose that format and then we uh, convert it to a string and then we print it to the screen. Um, uh, let me, I'm going to actually go over one more thing before I run this. Uh, I call this next method called add time. I want to show you this because this allows you to grab the current date and then add some time to it. Um, so again, doing the same thing we did there. We have this date format variable. I'm going to put it in uh, the standard date time format uh, for storing a SQL database. And then I'm going to create this NS time interval variable called my extra time. And I actually am adding this uh, 259,200 um, integer to it. And basically what that is, is that's going to equal three days. And you get that by doing 60 seconds time. These are all seconds, basically. 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 24 hours. So um, 86,400 is one day, and then this is three days. Um, and so I created this variable called NS date future date, and um, did this uh, date by adding interval method, and added the extra time to the current date. And then lastly, I uh, went ahead and converted it to a string. And as before, we did it with the current time. This time I'm doing it with the NS date future date. And then we'll print it to the screen. So let's go ahead and run that. And when we run that, you'll see, let's show you down here. 
So here's the, the medium style. Looks just like that. It says June 25th, 2014. And then the time is there in the medium style as well. Um, and then I said I had the uh, month, month, day, day, year, year. It looks just like that. And then here's your traditional um, date time um, for going in like a SQL database. And then here's your the future one. So this is 625, and then I added three days to it, and now it's 628. Um, so let's go ahead and um, do one more thing here I'm going to show you. Well, first of all, I'll show you how you can use this format, no style, and put that in here, and we won't get the time. So now if I run that, you'll see in my medium style, it just gives us the date. So if you just wanted that, or one or the other, really, you can put no style in one of them, and it won't show anything. All right, so lastly, I'm going to show you how you can compare the dates. So we, like I said, we um, at the end of these two methods, we have date string two and date string one, and they're both set to uh, this date time format, as I mentioned earlier. And there's this uh, method I've come across. I think I found it on the Apple uh, website, developer website, for comparing dates, which comes in real handy. There's all kinds of instances where you may want to compare dates to. Um, uh, say you want to update your app once every couple days, so you save it in a database the date time and compare the stored date to this one. And if it's greater than two, let's say, you know, you know, because this is going to return days, um, then you go ahead and do your update. Um, so basically, right here in this compare dates method, um, grabbing our date formatter making sure that everything is going to be in our daytime uh, format. And then we go ahead and um, convert um, our date strings to type NS date. So I create an NS date variable and we go ahead and create, so date from string, there's date string one, date string two, the two class variables. So now they are set to um, NS date um, format. And so that this method needs to have NS date format, so that's why that's important. Um, and so I go ahead and call that method. That method returns an integer, so I can save it as in this variable here. Um, then I convert that integer days to a string so that I can display it in my label. So as I said before, the, the future date, um, I went ahead and added uh, three days to it, so we should get the integer three returned. So let's go ahead and run that. And once we run that, hit compare, and there's three. It works perfectly. Um, and you can even mess around with this more to return uh, different units. Um, I decided to go with the day because that was uh, more convenient, uh, more handy for me. Um, but if if you could look on Apple's site, you can see how you can convert this to look at strict time, seconds, minutes, those type of things. Um, so that's NS Date Basics. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you would like me to uh, have explained in this video. Thanks for watching.